All right, what's going on guys? We are down here on a lake in Weston and we're gonna be doing some pan fishing, something I really haven't done too much recently. This is one of my go-to pan fishing lakes, a lot of bluegill here usually, but I don't even remember the last time I was here. It might've been back in the fall, like, I don't know, seven, eight months ago. But we're gonna be fishing the uh, St. Croix Avid Pan Fish Rod today. Uh, light power, not ultra light like I use sometimes. We got a Diawilla Gallus reel, some six pound test, and the lure we're going to be going with is a little uh, Shad Fry Z from Z-Man and a little uh, 1 32nd ounce jig head. So uh, let's take a quick lap around this lake and let's see what we can get into here. Alrighty, so here is the lake and the problem I usually run into, not usually, but sometimes, is that there is all this algae here close to shore on this lake. Not always, and it happens at just like seemingly random times, but we'll see what we can do. Here's a little bit better look at the lure. So let's just flick this on out there. And now let's swim it back and let's see if we can get into some fish here without constantly getting uh, all this algae on the lure. Got him. First fish of the day. Not a big one, but of course it swam right into all this algae. I think whatever it is is still on. Looks like bluegill shaped. Let's see if we can take a look at it. Alright, so it is a bluegill, not a big one. Uh, usually this time of year here I can get some nice ones close to shore because they are in close uh, spawning. But this is still an okay little guy. Not bad for our first one. Let's get this guy back and let's see if we can get some larger ones out of there. Got him. Oh, this is a nicer bluegill. Let's see if we can get him in without getting any algae on him. And that actually worked out pretty well. Let's take a look at this guy. All right, so this guy flopped off the hook here. Um, that's why he got a little bit dirty, but I guess he also got a little bit dirty because I dragged him on the grass. Anyway, a little bit nicer of a bluegill. Really nice colors here on the head. The juveniles don't really get these nice colors. But yeah, let's get this guy back in there and let's keep going. Not too bad of a start. Oh, there we go. It's another nice adult gill. Let's get him on top of the grasses here. All right, so this is the best fish of the day. I think the biggest one also has the nicest colors. A lot of these colors don't come out as well on camera as they do in person, but these guys look really good. So pretty good day so far, as expected. Some bluegills are in close spawning. We got two nice males. Let's get this one back and let's keep going. Man, he is hooked well. This is such a great bluegill and kind of overall pan fish lake. Actually, it's even pretty good for large mouths. Really enjoy fishing here. But I mentioned it in the beginning, throughout different times of the year, and fishing here it becomes a lot more difficult because there's just all this algae that extends pretty far out. Here in this spot, it's not too bad. But I've been trying to focus on the spots where it doesn't extend that far out 
because it really just limits the amount of fishable shoreline that this already pretty small lake has. And I don't know why it happens. There's a bite. That's an, oh, that's a nicer one. I don't know why it happens because it happens all throughout the year, in the summer and in the winter. That's a nice bluegill. But yeah, the algae is just super annoying. Alrighty, so certainly not the biggest fish of the day. Actually, it's probably the second smallest, if I remember correctly. Got a little bit of color on him. Uh, however, this guy put up the best fight. He even pulled a little bit of drag. But yeah, let's get this guy back. And we'll see what else we can get, but this algae is not making it, not making it easy. Got him. That was a nice take. What is this, another bluegill? Yep, very next cast. Got ourselves another nice bluegill. All right, so this one looks to be a little bit bigger than the last one. Nice size on him, hit really, really well. Is it the biggest of the day? That I'm not even sure, it might be. But these guys are attacking this thing with some serious force, and they are getting hooked really, really well. There we go. We're on the shady part of the lake right now, that's why the, the lighting's not the best. But hopefully you guys can still see them, because these are, some really good looking fish. Got him. I saw this one come out from some deeper water and follow my lure in and finally hit it. There we go, another nice bluegill. Alrighty, so we got ourselves another solid looking fish. This one's also on the bigger side. A lot of really nice bull male bluegills here close to shore today. It is uh, mid to late spring. These guys are probably spawning. That's why they're close to shore. This is, like I mentioned, one of my favorite panfish and bluegill lakes, especially this time of year, because there's a lot of really nice ones uh, rather close to shore like this. And today has been a pretty good day so far. So that guy's back. I'll try to get maybe one or two more, and then we'll call it a day on that. Got him. Another nice take on the very next cast. He's a little bit smaller, but still a very nice size bluegill. All right, so I might have found a nice little area here because, I don't know, on the last five or six casts, we got three of these guys, I think, and two of them back to back. And they've been very, very nice sized, very, very nice shape. This guy's a little bit uh, darker in color. The colors aren't coming out on him too well. But look at the tail, not only the color, but the size of this tail. This is a nice big fish, big bluegill. So yeah, let's get this guy back. And I think we're gonna wrap it up here because I've caught enough of these fish in the last 45 minutes. I had my fun for the evening. So yeah, let's do that. Let's get them back and then let's wrap it up. All right guys, so that is gonna do it. And what a great little, I don't even know, 45 minute session or so on this lake. I uh, love fishing this lake and especially this time of year for these panfish because uh, a lot of really nice ones close to shore. Uh, they're very aggressive and they are very fun to fight on this lighter gear. It's not, this wasn't an ultralight rod, not a uh, two pound test like I sometimes used, uh, but even on this light power rod with six pound test, uh, those fish were still pretty fun to fight. 
and the Avid Panfish comes through again. This has rather quickly become like my go-to uh, panfish rod, especially fishing closer to shore. It's six feet four inches, uh, which lets me cast out a little bit farther, and especially when I'm working uh, around this lake or some other lakes in this area that have a lot of growth close to shore, like all this algae, uh, the extra height just makes it a little bit easier to flip these fish in over the top of that so they don't get all wrapped up in that like that first fish did. With like a five foot six rod or a six foot rod, that'd be a little bit more difficult but again just a real joy and a pleasure to fish this rod and I went with the shad fry Z uh, wasn't sure if I was gonna use this or not usually I like to throw like insect type lures this time of year and I just had this tied on which is why I kept it if this wasn't tied on I probably would have tied on like a something that imitates a little insect but the fish definitely seemed to go for this and I love the durability of this lure did a uh, full review on this a couple months ago so check that out if you would like but all these fish today and this lure still looks in perfect shape and I used this previously so I definitely caught some fish on it uh, before so I don't know how many fish we caught on this exact lure now but it still looks like it's brand new out of the package so yeah really good session here on this lake in western Florida solid 45 minutes well spent I uh, hope you guys liked it and I will see you guys next time